Hello everyone, welcome back to Find and Love Yourself Again. My name is Nu Vang and if this is your first time joining me, welcome, thank you for your time. I feel like it's been a while since I've sat down and talked with you guys, so today I wanted to do that and today I will be talking about how my month of patience went in November. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then at the beginning of last month in November, I decided that every month I am going to focus myself and my personal growth on a theme. So last month was patience. I wanted to sit down today and talk to you guys about the three things that I learned. My goal was to be patient with myself as I embark on this journey to finding myself and loving myself again, having compassion for myself. So let's get right to it. The first thing that I learned was to slow down. I've always been a go, go, go person. Just having to remind myself on a daily basis to be patient, that things will come with time. I was definitely getting very frustrated some days when I felt like I was not progressing. I had to learn to slow down, not just with myself, but also with others around me. For instance, I remember going to Costco to get gas and it's always very busy there. And so I just made a conscious effort to just be patient and enjoy the time that I had there to myself and kind of observe what was going on because I was focusing on November being a month of patience. I purposefully did everything with patience. It really helped bring a sense of peace to me and I no longer feel rushed or feel like I have to finish certain things as much as I used to. I definitely still do. But focusing on patience all of last month definitely slowed me down and was a really, really good transition from what I used to do to what I plan to do from this point forward. The second thing that I realized about myself and learned was that I compare myself so much to the people around me and to people that I don't even know, like on social media, I would compare myself to the people who are doing the same thing that I'm doing. So for example, last month I started shooting uh, like these kind of videos as well as vlogging and then after shooting them I would edit them and I'll put them on my YouTube channel and I also watch other YouTubers as well so I would compare the quality of their videos to mine and the amount of views and I was just doing so much comparison that I felt like I lost my purpose for creating these videos so I have to remind myself to be patient with my progress and my unique journey Another thing that I started trying out is that since I was using my camera a lot, I decided to also use it to take pictures. So I was doing a little bit of food photography and I started buying and playing around with some lenses. It was very fun for me at first because I just enjoyed capturing different shots of people, especially uh, while they're in action, so candid shots. But as I was, uh, I wanted to get better and I wanted to learn more, I went to YouTube and watched several videos on photography. That was when I realized that I was doing it again. I was comparing myself to those who have been taking photos for 10 plus years. And I'm here, and it's been very like a week or two and I'm already comparing myself. So that is one thing that I learned while I was trying to be patient with myself last month. And on my journey so far, like podcasts and the books that I've been reading, they talk about how you should really only compare yourself to who you were yesterday. I was reading Jay Shetty's Think Like a Monk book last night with my boyfriend. Let me go get the book. So it says here, uh, we even highlighted it. The more we define ourselves in relation to the people around us, the more lost we are. So. I was so enlightened by that because it is true that when I started comparing myself to other people, I started losing a sense of who I was and why I even started in the first place. That really helped me put things back into perspective because when you start comparing yourself to other people, you lose a sense of who you are because you're solely focused on what other people are doing and that could go on for a long time and by the time you turn back and reflect you might end up doing things that originally you don't even 
cared to do and you didn't even intend to do. So I think that when you don't compare yourself, you stay true to your purpose and you have more clarity. I think that the universe brought this to my attention on purpose. Moving forward, I will try my best on a daily basis to not compare myself to other people because the more I do that, the more I lose myself and my channel is all about finding myself. So it will be counterintuitive for me to lose myself and I do that when I compare myself with others so I am so excited to have realized that and I think it will make a big difference in my life and the third and final thing that I learned and I want to share with you guys it's almost delivering a package so the third and final thing that I learned and I want to share with you guys is that during the month of November, while I was trying to be patient with myself, I really did develop a strong sense of awareness, um, self-awareness, and I was able to have a lot more compassion towards myself. The more I slowed down, the more I was just able to see my thoughts. Kind of like what meditation does, it helps you um, just watch your thoughts, right? I felt like being patient was kind of similar where I saw my thoughts happening, my brain wanting to go towards a specific route and thought process when you have experienced trauma it is very hard close to impossible to not get triggered so when you do get triggered which i do i go into this rabbit hole where things just spiral negatively down and it takes me a very very long time to get out of it the worst part comes when i judge myself for getting triggered and being triggered for so long and not being able to pull myself back out last month i was really trying to be patient with myself when that happened when i got triggered and i got angry um, i tried to really listen and speak to myself and really figure out where that's coming from and how i can use my awareness to uh, respond to the trigger differently because we can all be triggered but how we respond to that trigger is what really matters because again going back to Jay Shetty's book that I'm reading he says that we will always be triggered like that we cannot control but what we can control is what we do afterwards so by being patient with myself I learned to be aware of how I react to that trigger and slowly turn it into something where i recognize my trigger but then i choose to respond to it differently what i would like to point out and something that i learned a while back is that there is a difference between reacting to something and then responding if you want to move from reacting and then going into responding to that trigger. So that is it for the three things that I learned in the month of November as I practiced patience every day. I learned to slow down. And secondly, I learned that I compared myself a lot to other people and therefore that is what is actually causing me to be more lost. And then the third thing is I learned about my triggers and how I want to be able to respond to them in a more healthy, productive way so that not only does it benefit me, but it also benefits the other person who may have accidentally triggered me. So I really enjoyed sitting down today and talking to you guys about what I learned in November and it is December now it is the last month of 2021 and this month I've decided to focus on gratitude I've been learning a lot about gratitude and everyone that I've been listening to or reading about or talking with talks about gratitude and how it's kind of like this magic pill that will bring you joy, peace, and happiness. And so I really want to try it out. I've done gratitude journals in the past. I would do it for, for like a few days and then I would forget. But this month, I'm really going to make it an effort to practice gratitude every day. And not only that, but I want to um, challenge myself to find the good in every situation. So I'll be grateful for every situation, whether it's a situation that I want or a situation that I don't want. So I want to start uh, that kind of 
mindset as well. Let me know down in the comments if you are also working on gratitude or if you're not then what you are working on because I would love to hear and it would give me more ideas as to what I want to focus on in January. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It does really help this video and get it out to more people who may need this kind of content and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to do more videos like this. I hope you are having a great December so far and I will talk to you in the next video. All right. Bye.